Okay, we're gonna try something different today. I'm gonna to do a video on how to become more confident as an artist. And I think the first thought that goes through everyone's mind when they look at their work is, I am bad. Now, I think we need to change this mindset into, and understand the fact that any artist that you admire and anyone that you look up to and admire their work and think, wow, this work is so amazing, you have not seen the countless hours of work that they have put in to begin producing the quality of work that you admire. Now, um, I would say you need to change your mindset from thinking that you're bad. It's okay to be bad. Bad is a learning process. Now, you need to stop thinking I'm bad and you need to start thinking I am learning right now. I'm in a, a maybe a beginning stage, maybe um, a learning uh, a process where, you know, you're gonna have points of kind of, uh, I guess, transition with your work where you're gonna understand something, take the next step, take the next step, take the next step. And maybe so many of those steps are not appealing to you um, until you get to the step where you're now becoming, when you then get to the point where your work begins to uh, even impress you a little bit. So I didn't wanna make this video just about, I guess, just some kind of weird motivational artistic speech so I wanted to put in practical tips as well on how to actually improve your skill set and how do you work towards um, becoming more confident in a practical sense so drawing I cannot emphasize drawing more and I'm talking drawing with pencil charcoal just drawing in a sense to uh, increase your uh, your observational skill your understanding of form your understanding of composition your understanding of shape you know, when you draw, this trains your eye for color, shape, form. As I, as I said, um, these are all things that will do. It doesn't matter if you're doing printmaking, sculpture, painting. You need to have a better understanding of drawing and always practice your drawing because it will have so much benefit. It will add so many benefits to your, um, your overall practice as an artist. Drawing as well is something I think is massively ignored in contemporary art education so um, if you're someone who is working on their drawing it's kind of it's going to put you above a lot of other students who are not focusing on their drawing my next tip is as early as you can in your career focus on one thing by one thing I mean like I mentioned the uh, uh, printmaking painting or sculpture specialize in something really get to understand a medium or a way of working so that you can get very, very, very good at it. If you spread your time out across different crafts, then you're only gonna be, you know, decent at all of them instead of mastering one and becoming absolutely amazing at that one thing. So even with me, I'm, I know I'm a painter, um, but within painting, I am focusing most of my energy on oil paint because I feel like oil paint is a, is, is a headache to get, um, to get a hold of, but um, that's my medium. And at times I will look into other things and try to combine it with different elements. Um, but my main focus is to understand the medium of oil paint and master that medium so that when I get to a stage where um, I start, I guess, producing my masterpieces, they're masterpieces because I've been working on my oil paint for like oil painting for like 10 years or 15, 20 years or whatever it's going to be. Now, I know not everyone's going to agree with me when it comes to this point, um, but I say don't be afraid to copy artists. Now, I'm not saying just 24 seven, just copy other artists work, but I'm saying if you like the aesthetic of a certain artist, or you really enjoy the work of a certain artist, copy their work because it will give you an insight into their process. When you try to copy a texture or a technique or a, even a composition color, you learn to mix new colors. You, you pay more attention to the work, you see it in a new way. Um, and obviously a copied work um, can't really do much benefit in terms of your career, in terms of, I guess, portfolio building or anything like of, of this kind of sort. But when you understand their process a bit more, you can take elements of that process or you can take parts of their composition image. It's fine to take bits of their work and implement it 
evolve it into your own work. So the copying kind of becomes what I guess Picasso would call stealing. Um, now, I know some people might think that this copying is a waste of time, but I could, I could not disagree more. Um, I really think that if you copy artists whose work you admire, you begin to understand the learning process. You learn new color schemes, you learn new uh, forms of painting, printmaking, sculpture, whatever it is. But the process that you can discover from copying other people's work and then evolving it into your own is, I think, something that is underrated. So when you're interested in a subject, research it deeply. Whatever your ideas are about, go deep into the research. Look up, I don't know, the definition, the synonyms, the words surrounding what you're interested in. Research, books, um, documentaries, uh, anything that is related to your subject, try to go into it deeply because at the end of the day, your art is about translating your ideas, okay? Now, if the translator doesn't have a deep understanding of the language that they're trying to speak, it's not gonna come out great, is it? So, I would argue that the more involved you are in your subject and the deeper your understanding of it, the better your artwork will be. If possible, learn from people who are better than you. Now, in person, this is obviously the most ideal, but this isn't available to everyone. Not everyone can chase their favorite artists or have maybe a very skilled um, artists around them, depending on the environment. But say you are in university, you have your tutors, right? Look up your tutors' works. Do any of their work in terms of process appeal to you? Go and ask them questions, email them, talk to them. Um, I would say first year, uh, forget about, okay, I shouldn't really be saying this, but forget about your concept, it's gonna change. Concept is not too important in the first year. Focus on your technical skill, okay? How do you understand the medium that you're using and how can you improve that? Focus, focus, focus on that as much as you can because it will help with that translation process of your idea into work. Now, another option, Find people on social media that you're interested in, artists who have nailed a technique now. Message them, like seriously. Um, the amount of replies I've got from, it doesn't matter how many thousands of followers they have, um, a lot of these people are very friendly and open to replying to comments and even direct messages sometimes. So comment on their, their posts, see if you can get it early enough so they reply. Or number two, just drop them a direct message. Um, and I have had amazing advice from artists that I followed on Instagram just because I haven't been scared to message them. Stop comparing yourself to others as well. Forget about your classmates. There's always going to be people who, you know, you uh, think are better than you or you're like, wow, they're so good at painting. I wish I could be in that kind of how are they the same age as me and this good. But remember that not everyone's ability and situation is the same. There's no point in comparing yourself to another person because they're in a different situation to you. They have a different brain to you. They have a different physiology to you. I don't know how maybe that affects or doesn't affect a, an artistic ability. I'd say talent only comes so far. Hard work is where it really um, separates the, um, I guess, the, the masterpieces from the uh, uh, people who are just a bit better uh, than um, the average person but stop comparing yourself. It is a pointless task. If you have, as I said, if you have people who are better than, uh, than you learn from them, it doesn't matter if they're older or younger, put your ego aside and just realize that this is an opportunity for you to learn, not an opportunity for you to sulk and cry about how bad you are. Just be like, I need to get better. And my final point, surround yourself with positive people. I cannot stress this enough. You do not need people around you who are telling you that your artwork is crap or are making you feel bad in any sort of way about other aspects of life because this is gonna feed into your practice because art is something that is very kind of independent and self-driven and you need to be kind of disciplined and in a good state of mind to make good art. Well, I know some people make artwork. I guess a lot of artists commit suicide.
You get my point. Keep positive people around you. You want people to lift you up while you're making artwork and not drive you to suicide like many other famous artists in the past. Um, but uh, just honestly, you don't owe anyone friendship, okay? If you have the so-called friends who are just, you know, into the gossip, complaining, the negative energy, cut them out of your life. You don't owe them any friendship. Forget about them. They're actually gonna just drag you down in life and just get over it. Like, forget about them. Now, I'm also talking about the own negative voice inside of your head now. My piece of advice, consider it as a completely separate entity from yourself. Any negative thoughts come and tell you, you know, your painting is so crap, your artwork is so crap. Uh, you're never going to make it. Why did you make this life decision? You ruined your whole life, blah, blah, blah. Just ignore it. Just be like, this isn't me. This is something else that is telling me. And I can ignore that something else in the same way if a negative person came to me and started just talking rubbish, I can ignore them. They're a separate person, right? This isn't me. Don't associate with you. Don't, don't even think that it is you. Don't think that there's anything wrong with you. These are normal kind of, I guess, this is a, a normal reality of human condition. That sounds like a very... Uh... Now bear in mind, I think that criticism is important. So try and distinguish between positive criticism. Uh, sometimes your mind is good at criticizing. Um, and take, take that on board. Put your ego, uh, ego aside and, you know, listen to people sometimes. Sometimes people aren't great at communicating criticism and they can twist it in quite a negative way, but sometimes even in that negativity, there can be useful information for you. Um, but if someone just says stupid things like, your work is crap and blah, 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 blah. Like if the blah, 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 the reasons are justified reasons, then they just suck at, you know, I guess, being emotionally intelligent because they didn't have to say your work is crap. They could just say, oh, I think your work could improve if you did this. But unfortunately, some people are like, yeah, your work is crap because of blah, 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 blah. But sometimes the because blah, 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 you can actually listen and improve on that. Just ignore the you're bad, as I kind of reasoned at the beginning. Um, learning process, you're not bad. Learning process. So to summarize the practical advice, I've kind of written it down here. Uh, to summarize the practical advice, always draw. Charcoal, pencil, pen, observational skills, they're very important when it comes to your practice. Work out as soon as possible what you like and master that specific thing, okay? Take note of the time you waste during the day and use it for refining your skill. Don't be afraid to copy artists' work. Do understand their process and evolve it into your own practice. Research your subjects deeply and by doing so, that will translate better into your artwork. Learn from people who are better than you, whether they be in person or through the internet. And finally, surround yourself in positivity, whether that be through headphones, people, and cut out all negativity, including your own thoughts. Remember, separate entity. So, I hope you enjoyed, uh, you all enjoyed this video. It's a, a, something a little different. Um, I'm hoping to do more kind of videos like this. I kind of like these more, uh, I guess, uh, thinking kind of videos. I don't know if I'd be able to de describe it as that, but uh, I like to be a, a positive voice, especially within the art community. So thanks for watching, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. I'll be posting more artistic advice videos and then maybe in the future I might even start recording my painting and things like that. So thank you again.